What's going on guys? Welcome to Tech Savvy Buyer. So today what we're going to look at is Vivibrite's F40 Full HD Native 1080p Projector. This is a budget projector, so we're going to dive into what's all good about this, what could have been improved, and if it's actually worth buying for a person looking for a budget projector. So up front, before we even dive in the review, I will say ahead that this is not a projector for anyone who's looking to have a full-scale home theater setup with super, super crisp detail and something a little bit more professional level. And that's clearly because this is targeting more of a budget type of audience. So if you wanna kinda of just test out what it is to use a projector for the first time, whether you're looking to do you know, big screen gaming or watching movies, sports, anything. It's a good way to transition yourself by starting off with something like this. So let's talk all the details of this projector and what's cool, I'll show you guys some footage, some gaming stuff as well, and what comes all included with this and how functional this actually is. Let's take a look at that coming up. So welcome back guys. Now, this is the F40 series Vivibrite Full HD projector, like I mentioned before. Um, the packaging is actually pretty decent. The actual projector comes with a bubble wrap protector which keeps it secure in case you get a bumpy transit or whatever. Um, and you also get included a remote control, a manual, a cleaning cloth for the lens of the projector itself, along with a power cable. So that's pretty much all the stuff that comes inside the box of this device. The retail price for this is only $229, which I think price-wise, this is a pretty solid deal. Now, looking about build quality, considering that this is a budget projector, you really don't feel it from the build quality. So it's pretty solidly made. It's very durable. It's got a pretty decent amount of weight into it as well. The one thing I noticed right off the bat is that the finishing on top, even though they try to go with a smooth kind of sheen finish, there's a lot of rough marks and almost looks like scuffs and scrapes on this. So the finishing or quality audit of this could have been a little bit better if you guys were really keen on something, you know, being pristine quality when you buy something new, which I guess anyone would be. But Keep in mind, this is only 229 bucks and it's a full HD projector with an LED bulb. So let's run over the specs real quick, even before we look at the design. You get several USB ports on this. You get the connectivity of HDMI. You can connect a optical ouch device if you want for audio that way as well. Um, you also have a LED bulb that is rated to have a life of up to 50,000 hours. So for perspective, a traditional projector that you buy that has a bulb inside that's not LED, those last for about 20,000 hours on average. And again, that's with keeping the brightness down and tweaking a whole bunch of settings. Now towards the front of the projector, you have your standard LED bulb. On one side of it, you have just a normal mesh. This is basically used for heat sinks on the inside and it has a pretty loud fan inside too that is used to cool off the device so it doesn't get too hot. Now I noticed that there's only one speed that this fan is running on constantly and it has a very annoying droning sound. which in my books is a pretty big con considering if you wanna use the included speakers, the sound of the fan actually competes with the speakers, which isn't good. So bear in mind that when you're gonna be using this projector, you're gonna want it in an area that has loud speakers and a much more audible environment so that you're not caught up listening to the fan noise on this. On the other side of the projector, you actually have two speakers that are embedded. They both are 10 watts. They're nothing fancy, but they do a pretty decent job in getting a room filled with clear sound. Kick back and watch Earth's petty struggles on the comfort of my Asgardian snow fort. So you're not going to get bass levels or soundbar level kind of quality. You will get pretty decent sound quality, enough to watch a movie or even play a game if you don't have any speakers on your hand. Now next to that you have access to control the keystone of the image and the actual focus. Now another thing about this projector is there isn't a zoom in or zoom out function. You're going to have to kind of just move it back and forth till you get the desired screen size that you want and the desired focus level that you want. You'll have to use these to kind of crispen up the image. Now when it came to focusing images on this, I noticed one thing that was for me, it, it wasn't a very positive thing, but the center of the actual screen or the video that you're watching stays clear and in focus, but the edges of them kind of form like a vignette or a blur type kind of effect that anything that you have details wise or text wise that are on the complete edges of the screen that you're projecting, it always kind of had this washed out blurry type of look. And that was really annoying, especially if you're playing video games and you have statistics or your HUD around and you're trying to look at different things. It's not that you can't read it, but there's a very noticeable difference between looking at the center of the screen or the image that's being projected versus looking at the bottom left or the bottom right. Just another thing to keep in mind. Now on the back of the device, you actually have two USB ports. You have an HDMI 
port as well. That's where you have access to setting up the device. And in addition, you have your typical power button area along with some navigational buttons. Now, once you plug this device in and you power it on, you're gonna be greeted by a red light that is gonna stay on until you turn on the device. Once you turn it on, it turns into a green shade and then you get the Vividbrite logo pop up along with your screen. Now, there isn't a warm up time on this like a traditional projector would have, and that's pretty good. So if you wanna go and play this in an area instantly, it's pretty easy to use. Now let's focus on the image quality. Overall, I would say the image quality is a solid seven or eight out of 10. That would be including the sharpness of the image, the color reproduction, and as well as the motion of the picture. So overall, the quality of it is pretty decent. Colors pop out pretty well when you're watching it in a dark environment. They claim that there's 4,200 lumens on the bulb that should allow it to be super, super bright when you're in an area that has some ambient lighting. In my testing though, when I turned the light on, it was pretty noticeable that the image quality degraded quite a bit and it wasn't a super crisp image that you would wanna enjoy in. So my recommendation is if you're gonna buy this and you wanna use this and take the best max potential out of it, make sure you're in a dark room and you actually have a audio system that'll block the sound of the fan that's not gonna you know, annoy you while you're watching movies or playing games. Now, aside from the brightness, the color reproduction on it is pretty decent. I wouldn't say that it's something that's going to compete with a 4K TV or, you know, Samsung latest OLED or something of that nature. This isn't for that. So you got to keep in mind that this is a budget projector, meaning it's not appealing to people who want to spend thousands of dollars on a professional setup. For $229, I can't not recommend this, guys. It's really good if you want to try and just, you know, dip your feet into getting into a projector or seeing if that's something you really want to do. It's not going to be a bad experience to turn you off from doing it all together. I think it will give you a good first step into seeing how it feels to have, you know, that home theater experience at home with a console or with movies. So, and even for people who want to use this for gaming. So if you're looking for a projector to buy for your Xbox or your PlayStation, this is pretty solid. Of all the projectors I've tested on this channel and in my personal time and personal life as well, I noticed that there was pretty much no input lag on this whatsoever. Now, they may state that there is, and you know, as, as with any device, sometimes the numbers in the box may not be accurate. Sometimes they may paint a picture that's not as good as it actually is or worse than it actually is. In this case, I couldn't find any details of the response time on it, but when I would press anything, playing Call of Duty or playing Super Smash Brothers, basically any game that I wanted to just test out on this, I didn't notice any kind of noticeable input lag that would basically deter me from playing a game. Now, again, is this something I want to play competitive games on? Absolutely not. So if you are looking for a competitive setup and you know milliseconds really matter to you and you want your response times to be super, super responsive, you're obviously not going to be looking for this and obviously the price is not going to be charging you like that. You know, simple G-Sync display monitors and other gaming equipped monitors go for hundreds of dollars extra just for the fact that they're tailored to gamers. Now, with that being said, Vividbrite did kind of say that this is tailored to gamers, and I think the reason they did that is just because it's got the logo on top that glows different colors. You know, it's, it, it may be just a marketing gimmick to kind of sell it as a gamer's projector. I wouldn't say this is specifically a gamer's projector. I would say that this is a projector good for anybody that wants to try and see what projector lifestyle is like, if, if that's what you want to call it, or essentially just see what the experience would be like fully having a projector and getting to play games and movies and music on a super large screen. Well guys, that pretty much concludes the review of this. I would highly recommend that you guys go ahead and pick one up if you want to have a budget level projector. The resolution is a full native 1920 by 1080 or full HD, and it does a pretty good job in displaying games, movies, and all that kind of jazz. So if you want a projector and you're on a budget and you don't want to spend thousands of dollars or fork out an arm and a leg, then this is the projector for you guys. If you're looking for something high skill, professional, that has a lot more connectivity options and has other things that are built in that would benefit a more robust home theater setup, you're probably not gonna wanna buy something like this. So again, if you guys are interested in purchasing this, I will leave a link in the description below where you guys can go ahead and purchase this off of Amazon. If you guys have any other questions, make sure you let me know in the comment section below. I'll do my best to field as many of it as I can. And as always guys, stay tuned for more content. I'm gonna be reviewing some other cool stuff as well. But wait, just before we go, the giveaway for the PS Vita is still live guys. And there's only a few days. I believe there's only two or three days left before this is gonna be gone to somebody's hand. And of course, there's only about 315 contenders 
things right now, guys, because my channel obviously isn't super huge, so it gives you a good chance to get some stuff for free. Uh, I'm not only going to be giving away the Vita, I'm going to give away some dock covers that I received as well, and maybe some other goodies. It just depends on what I have lying around, but I will keep you guys posted. I will leave the link to enter the giveaway in the description as well, so you guys can take advantage of that also. But other than that, folks, that was the end of this video, and thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it sticking through the end. I will see you guys on my next one. Take care and bye.